What is up everyone? Good morning. We are all ready to go. Welcome to Sudley Ray Adventures. We live in the land of 10,000 lakes. So what are you doing? Go fishing. Yeah, it's a little dark here in the garage right now. Yeah. Can barely it's see me. Amazing. Yeah, it's pretty early. It's about 5.40 in the morning. They We're said gonna... it would be about to um, be full rise at 7. We're going to Big Lake. So, Big Lake, Minnesota, Central Minnesota, and then, yeah, so, let's get there. That's right, we got donuts and those double shot, triple shot cappuccinos. Yay! This is why I love going fishing with you. It's freaking also, cold though. Also, we get to go to the new house. Yeah, we're going to look at it. We're going to look at a new house today up in northern Minnesota. So eventually you might see some northern Minnesota vlogs. That's right. Well, we were gonna go to Big Lake, but now we're going to Camp Lake and back from Minnesota because it's like plump full. I'm not gonna, there's something going on again. Last time it was um, a swimming race. Now it looks like a boating event, so whatever. Got all our stuff. Just grab the backpack and we're ready to roll. She's already casting off the dock. Got it. We can go way up here. Yeah, the train. Yeah, the train. We learned we're gonna bring thicker, well, like two sweatshirts next time. There we go. Oh my god, it got off a big quake though. Damn it. Whoa. No. I believe that something just jumped at my line and freaked me out though. Huh? Did the GoPro get it? I think so, that freaked me out. There we go. Right when I said I'm gonna sit down and relax and fish, I get one. Right, because that's how you get a wacky worm fish. Damn, oh yeah, Everly. Oh yeah, Tank City, baby. I'm just gonna let her tire herself out. Yeah, you did. No net needed, baby. Wow. Jeez. That's why I sat down. I'm like, dude, I'm standing too much. I'm being too active with my wacky room. Oh, don't tell me it got off. 
Unless I just, yeah, I tired her out, good. Cause now she's picking up some steam again. Oh my God, yes. What is it? I can't see it yet. Is that a northern on the wacky? No, that's a big large mouth. That's a tank. Oh, <gasps> Holy. Everly. It's bigger than your hand. Huge. <laughs> oh, Everly, what did I say? Is it bigger than yours? It's huge. It's a big one. I'll measure it. I'll actually get the tape out for this one. Everly, what I say, baby? I think I'm gonna put on my waggy worm, she says. Put on? I said put out. And right when I sat down, I said, I'm gonna sit down and fish because that's how you fish with a wacky baby. Look. Look at this giant. Just a giant. I mean, if I can, I can't even explain to you. It does not do it justice on the camera. Gotta get the tape out. Wow. Wow. Just a big. Yeah, Tink. No. Oh my gosh. Holy McDavid. Yeah, this year I, I come here every year, usually catch at least a couple tanks. This year I haven't, I only caught one tank so far this year here. Three nine eight or three nine oh. Three nine oh. Nice. That's thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Seriously, thanks, man. No problem, man. I never bring my. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit easier when you've got something to store. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks, man. No, I don't think so. Close. I do have a tape measure on me. God damn it. I gotta get this guy in the water. Everly, let's get let's get him back in the water. Yeah. Oh, she's already getting gearing up. Look at that, Everly. That thing is a monster. She's looking everywhere. I'm going to bite my ass. <laughs> there she goes. Did you just try to go Yeah. No way. There it is. Another tank. Not as big, I don't think. <sighs> I 
Mm. No, that one got off right there. Damn. Oh, that's frustrating. <sighs> that's frustrating. Oh, man, that would have been another tank, but not as big, I don't think. And I can see the fish too. Geez, they just don't grab it, grab it. I know, I feel just. Like when I went into the gas station, and that dude rolled up. That was nice of him. But I wonder what they think of the do rag. I was like, what the fuck? It's like, dude, I used to wear them when I was younger, and I had braids and cornrows. They're literally the perfect headwear for a GoPro. For that one part to not dig into your forehead, it works amazing. And I started debating it because the bandanas hurt. Because I have the back ball part, like where you tie it, hurt. So I'm like, I'm gonna get some do rags. I don't care. I think they look slick too. This is some of the merch. It says Seth Leroy Adventures Land of 10,000 Lakes. You know, one of those face masks and protect your neck. Go get the merch. My favorite thing is the hat I got on there. It's only 22 bucks or something. Go get that. Claim that. Look, they're doing what I was talking about. I was talking about towing you. You were? I guess you can do it. I was talking to her about towing her like that. Hmm. But I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, a lot of fun. Doesn't look bad. No, no, this is incredibly stable. Yeah. I like it. I'll actually tow, I'll actually tow my daughter with me. Horse. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. It's funny because I was like looking it up. I'm like, can I do that? All right. It's kind of a nice option. We just pulled along behind us. Hundred percent. It's tired efficient. We just put them back there. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Nice, there we go. Ooh, I hooked him. I hooked him in Oh, he stole yours, huh, Everly? Yeah. I seen him. At least I got some meat. I actually got this one. Nice, good nice. pumpkin seed. There we go. What? There you go. I like when you nice, and you just switched it to putting that lower. Yeah, I put in it tiny. There you go. Good job, Dylan. Look at that bass bed. Wow. Wow. Look at that. There's just tanks in here, dude. Look at that bass bed. Can you see that bass bed on the GoPro? Wow. Well, that is it for this one. She's still gonna be fishing a little at the dock. It's getting to that part of the season here at Camp Lake. And it was cool that we caught one monster. Um, when it started off slow again, like, oh man, 
because I might have hit that wind, missed that window. This might be my last time around this area, so I'm glad I got one more hog out of this lake. Um, because this is my hog largemouth lake, as you've seen why. Sort of sad. Um, like for real. Uh, I'll be fine. But if we really do move to Reamer, we did go on vacation there to an Airbnb a year and a half ago, which is crazy. Now we're looking at a house today. That's why I want to leave a little earlier. We still got 20 minutes of fishing, but it's pretty dead. We better go, go home, get ready for a little road trip to our house we're looking at. Yeah, so I do love fishing with my daughter. I've seen these people, if you've seen on the vlog, if I put that on there. They were pulling their kid on their kayak behind them. Now, but see, I have kayaks, so I don't know if it'd be way harder to kayak around with somebody, you know, behind me like that. I don't know. We'll find, we'll figure it out. But that's the only part I love, though. But I love fishing with, from land with her more than I know, though. I think, too, it's because I got so much, um, so much fishing in with my kayak. You know, now the only way there'd be an extension of this vlog is if she catches something. But yeah, what an awesome day! Another awesome, fun fishing, and this is why we fish, dude. That's why we're Minnesotans. That's why we fish. You know, love it. Nothing better to me, honestly, personally. Um, yeah, I'm glad it warmed up. But we learned. I learned too. It seems like it's already about to be that season, but where you need extra layers when you go in the morning. But, yeah. But, I mean, I got freaking vlogs coming out till 2025. I don't even know when this one will come out, but this one, this one will come out in 2025. What am I thinking? Because they're that extended, and I don't do ice fishing. If I do, though, then there's going to just be even more vlogs this year. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, so much fishing. I, I had a comment on one of my TikToks that I loved. A guy said, how's this man with a $60 ugly stick from Walmart? And it's true, that's what it is. He said, catching more fish than dudes with $500 bait casters and the complete setup. And that's so true because yeah, like I'll see these dudes, I'll watch their vlogs or videos like today yeah we caught one hog whatever and she caught one sunny but i watch these dudes videos and they're like fucking just set to the nines you know usually in my vlogs i catch a bunch of fish but uh they'll be just strapped to the nines with the most expensive shit they got fucking locators just everything and they're just sitting there struggling and it's like dude what's going on but hopefully I like, I hope people stumble on my channel and they're like, dude, this is just a dude fishing, you know? That's why I don't even really talk. Like today through a wacky, a green wacky for most of the day. And then at the end I threw a dark green wacky for a little bit. And then I threw a yellow, I think it's yellow and orange and red, yellow and red um, spinner. The reason I'm even saying all this is because I don't want my channel to be all about technicality and just, and I'm not hating on that. That's awesome. I like that info too. I'm not against it. I just mean like, I'm just a dude that grabs them fishing poles and with his daughter too, which is funny. I used to watch, shout out to uh, Outdoor Boys. He, I used to watch him back in the day when he was cat, cat and carp fishing. When he was just called cat and carpfish or whatever he was called, something like that. His channel was just called that. So like when my wife started showing me him more, or like, yeah, I really like this guy. I'm like, wait, hold up. That's mo I'm like, that's the carp and catfishing dude, bro. She's like, no, he's outdoor boys. And I was like, oh, okay. So he switched up. That's why sometimes I'll write in my titles outdoor boys, outdoor girls. Cause you know, we got a bunch of kids that are all boys and girls, so. 
So I hope you just get a good family vibe when you watch these. Yeah. He gets the long one on me. I think he, he still likes the little one, so. Dude, that's so tough. Yeah, you can still use both of them. I mean, we'll see what happens. Maybe one day he'll be ready. He likes the little pole still. But, and I don't care that I went on and on, but fishing means so much more to me than, you know, what you think. It's like not just a competitive nature to catch fish and it's meditation, it's everything to me. It's bonding, it's moments. Like when she, she wanted to go fishing with me in the mornings for a long time, cause I, I fish with them usually on the weekend, once a weekend during the evening. Um, but she kept asking, then finally I'm like, yeah, and it's been fun. Like I said, the only thing is though, I can't, I don't go on the kayaks, but I think pretty soon I'm gonna tell her, like, but at the same time, I kayak so much already this year, like twice a weekend, fucking three or six hours total on the weekends. So I'm sort of just like, whatever, yeah, I'll do some land fishing now. No big deal. It's been fun too. We've been gil killing it usually. Some days are a little slower because you know you're land fishing, but that's it for this one. I'm gonna stop rambling. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine to me. Just glad you're rocking with us. Get my merch. We live in a land of 10,000 lakes, so what are you doing? Go fishing. Go fishing, I like it. Everyone have a good one, we're out.